Hey, this is Jason Smith with Jason Smith's Guide Service. We've talked about top water. We've talked about uh, glide baits, uh, jerk baits, and uh, and bucktails. Now we're in a series on uh, r rubber baits that I use in the spring. This is primarily my spring baits. I get a lot bigger rubber in the in the, in the fall for throwing for muskies, but right away in the spring, I like the smaller baits. Um, I'm a big fan, and you won't know that I'm a big fan of Lake X toads caught a pile of fish on toads in the last year and uh, it is a hot bait so we're gonna start out with uh, with my favorite the toads and this one right here is a regular you can see she's all pretty chewed up uh, been pit repaired a quite a few times great color I've uh, been done done real well on that one um, and I've done and I like the uh, shallows and you can always tell the shallows from the regulars because the shallows will have that little hole right there in the in the tail section and when it when I use a shell when I use a, a, a toad one of the smaller toads um, I prefer like an 8.6 uh, extra heavy elk river is what I throw and um, what we do is we short hop it so you're not doing long pulls that you would do with your typical medusas or or bulldogs and stuff they're all short hops so it's so you want that bait to hop so you're hopping the rod as you're working it through and it's a whole different presentation and they get bit you know two or three hops a pause two or three hops and a pause anything you can do to to change it up uh, if you got if it doesn't quite run slightly true most of them run true but if you have to just like on a crankbait you can take a pliers and you can put a pliers down here and a pliers right here and you can bend this screw eye over to the right to make it turn the other direction over to the left to make it go the other direction so you can you can uh, tune these in so they can hop really nice so again that's the lake x toads the smaller toads um, later on start to get to late june i start to use a lot of the xl toads and uh, these these have been battle hardened um, those are I run the XL regular weighted ones a lot um, this one's even missing part of his tail <laughs> <laughs> great uh, great bait I love this color these are this, uh, great colors on flowages as you can tell some of my I always like a little bit of bright on the on the uh, Chipper River um, lakes that I throw here's another one's been chewed up pretty good this last fall uh, I got to get out and repair these. A little soldering iron uh, in the crack like that, and then hold them together. A butter knife, a hot butter knife, will fix them every time. So um, I got to get in and fix these up, get them ready for opening day. Um, again, I'll probably I, on those on the uh, regular toads and stuff. I do a lot of the uh, the nine three extra heavy, and I got a new rod this year that's going to be absolutely fabulous for. For, uh, rubber and it's the Elk River uh, I got, got some nice X wrap on there but the Elk River 9X double X heavy 9.3 double X heavy uh, beautiful rod from Elk River can't believe I can't wait to throw that one this year so okay um, I do throw some Bulldogs in the fall I mean I'm, I'm a fan of a lot of different baits there's always a different uh, Different presentation out there. Oh, so, always. Always. So, got some newer bulldogs this year. The pro dogs I really like. This is Pretty kind of a really nice. cool color. And uh, this one right here, another cool color. Can't wait to throw them. So, um, do have the old walleye. I really like the old walleye style. This one's been hammered many times, and uh, I had to put a new tail on it this year. <laughs> so. And these are, are those are Meg style. Now we do have the reg they do have regulars. I will keep a few of those in my box. I mean, again, it's got a longer pause when they fall and pop, and your longer pulls. So, whatever they're liking that day, obviously that's what I'm going to try to fish with. Um, so some great colors. Uh, here in this, this is actually a little pro dog the pro dog's got that uh, that uh, flexible harness inside so they're kind of nice so um, these regular dogs work really good
Okay, that is it for there. I'm gonna go on to another bait style. Everybody likes the Medusas. Medusas. One of my favorite, one of my favorite baits to throw in the spring, besides the uh, toads, is the Deuces. You can see how chewed this one is up, and um, these these are great. I mean, you're pulling long poles, long poles, long poles, pauses. Um, the mid Medusas, in my opinion, got a really good hooky percentage. Um, so they are one of my favorites one of my favorite client baits and a lot of a lot of my clients catch fish on mid medusas so i like the tequila sunrise I like there's a bass pattern black it's really good i got a couple new patterns this year that uh, have not been thrown these are a couple new sucker patterns yeah really good so can't wait to throw them really cool i do keep a couple uh regulars in the boat you know, old Ferguson turd, turd and Ferguson. Uh, black on. Yeah, gotta have a black on black. Gotta have that. That's been a, that's a money bait. So fun baits to throw. Deuces, Chaos Tackle. Um, go to chaostackle.com. Rick Albers uh, makes a fabulous bait. So check them out. Okay. Now we're gonna go to Red Octobers. These are these Ooh, are tubes. Bitch. These are tubes. These are tubes that have been crushed and crushed and crushed. Crushed, um, crushed. One of the best kids baits out there, one of the best client baits out there. I like the medium style. Um, a lot of these patterns are Team Rhino patterns. They're really nice. Um, but the medium Ninja tubes, they're seven and a half inches long. They work really great. Put them on, a, on an eight, six, uh, extra heavy, and you'll, uh, You'll be you'll be set. These things are money. Um, they hop that, nice. They hop nice, black, and you, you know again you're you're popping, popping. But the neat thing about them is not only they go they hop, but they'll always go right and they'll go left and they'll go right and they'll go left. So that's kind of a neat uh, a neat deal with the red October tubes. Now um, start to get later June, I'll go to the bigger ones. I really like the bigger tubes too. We caught a lot of nice fish on them. And uh, sometimes the old crazy colors work really good too, ice perch. So definitely make sure you got some red October tubes in the boat this year. They work really good. They all, they're all tools. Every one of these baits is a tool and you gotta, you gotta treat them that way. So don't get stuck up on one bait. They're all, you, gotta, you gotta have them all, it's all part of your arsenal. Swim baits. Every year I become a little bit more fan of the swim baits. You got the Chaos Poseidon, you got uh, Musky Hunters, uh, or, or Musky Innovations, uh, Swimming Dog here, you know. Again, nice baits. Um, another bait that doesn't get a lot of attention out there, um, but is a really good bait, is a Savage Gear Trout. And um, sometimes the, the hook harness, sometimes you got to make them beef them up a little bit. This is my version that I beefed it up a little bit from what it was. But another another great bait for uh, triggering fish, especially in June. So got to have a few swim baits out there. And um, that is it. This is my, uh, uh, my whole arsenal with topwaters, bucktails, jerk baits and rubber baits that I throw in my boat. You can get a hold of me at uh, jasonsmithsguideservice.com on Facebook and uh, you know, any questions feel free to leave me comments and, and subscribe to our channel. We got more and more coverage coming up in this next year. So hey appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great have a great season.